talk. In Ulysses, Leopold Bloom muses that it would be a puzzle to try to cross Dublin without passing a pub. There are over a thousand pubs in Dublin, many of them with live Irish music, or even Irish set dancing in the evening. It is probably the older style of pubs which are often the most noisy and crowded, but give a true insight into the character and charm of Dublin. The oldest pub in Dublin is the Brazen Head on Lower Bridge Street, and across the street from it is O'Shea's, the Merchant, which advertises its services in the Irish language. Lochstein, via Kyolus Jok. Lodgings, food, music, and drink. They are also well known for Irish set dancing. There are several pubs in the Temple Bar area. The Oliver St. John Gogarty, named after the writer and surgeon and one-time friend of James Joyce, sometimes has music in the afternoon, as does the L. Dubliner nearby. O'Donoghue's on Merrion Road is renowned for music and is the place where the Dubliners, a famous ballad group, met and began singing together over 40 years ago. MacDade's on Harry Street, just off Grafton Street, was where three great Dublin writers held court, Patrick Cavanagh, Brendan Bean, and Brian O'Nolan, a.k.a. Flann O'Brien, a.k.a. Miles Nagopoli. And across the street in Brussels, a favourite haunt of the late Philip Lidd, the front man with Tim Lizzie. There is a bronze statue of Phil on the street outside Brussels pub, which has become a focus of pilgrimage for Lizzie fans from all over the world. If you leave Trinity College and head westwards along Dane Street, a pavement mosaic near the intersection with George Street points the way to the Stag's Head. Renowned for its lunchtime food and lively atmosphere, it has a long mahogany bar capped with Connemara marble with partitions which divide it into stalls. This is one of the pubs where you're likely to find Irish stew being served for lunch. A little distance outside the city, in Prospect Square, Glass Nevin is Cabinet, known locally as the Great Diggers, which opened in 1833, just one year after Glass Nevin Cemetery opened. This completely unspoiled pub was probably the first of the mourners pubs in the area, and is featured in films such as The Woman Who Married Clark Gable. <laughs>